page 90 of the Get Ready Guide for the Bergen Academy's admission test. Here we learn a few tricks, how to calculate some really difficult calculations and how to answer some questions that appear to be difficult using some tricks and shortcuts without using a calculator. As you know, we are not allowed to use a calculator on the test. Therefore, we need these tricks in order to solve such questions very fast and very easily. So let's take a look at number three, calculating the product of a range of integers, including zero. So a question that would appear on the test um, as a standalone question or as part of a longer word problem would be something like this example right here. What is the product of all integers from negative five to six? So basically what I'm saying is what is negative five times negative four times negative three all the way times five times six. So all of the integers from negative five all the way to positive six multiplied by each other, the product. Now, what someone would, would sometimes do on the test, I've had students think that way, is that they would actually try to multiply all these numbers together. So negative five times negative four is positive 20. Positive 20 times negative three is negative 60 and so on and so on. However, since I'm talking about all integers, remember that the number zero is an integer. So somewhere along in this sequence or this range that you have, you are going to be multiplying by zero. And if you have 100 numbers multiplied by each other, but one of them is zero, the answer is always going to be zero because any number multiplied by zero is zero. So it doesn't matter what the range is, if it's going to be multiplied by zero somewhere down the road, then the final answer is always going to be zero. Remember that the Bergen Academy's admission test is not an easy test. However, we need to learn the basics, the easy stuff, in order to be able to solve all the questions correctly. Some of the questions on the test are very, very simple, and some are very difficult. In all cases, you need to know the basics. You need to know divisibility rules. You need to know how to find factors, how to find lowest common multiples, greatest common factors, how to um, uh, use long division, how to add and subtract fractions, how to add and subtract decimals, and so on. So some of the content in the book is easy, but basic, and some is difficult and geared towards the test. I wish you all the best of luck, and I would like to hear from you if you have any questions whatsoever regarding the Bergen Academy's admission test. Thank you.